Hello guys, Mr. GB Games here. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a flower in Minecraft with Minecraft Forge. Now, this will work on any other um, API out there, as far as I know, which is Mod Loader. So this will work both on Forge and Mod Loader. So let's jump right into it. So we'll do public static final block tutorial flower um, this can of course be named whatever uh, equals new tutorial flower like that okay same now we have to give it an ID which is well in this case be thousand and one but that could be something else um, so tutorial block doesn't exist yet so we'll create that uh, I mean, tutorial block already exists, but I mean, tutorial flower doesn't exist. So, tutorial flower, I'll do that, and the flower class created. Now, this is really easy further on, and I will, um, we can just copy everything that is in block flower. Now, why you can't use block flower is because it's protected, which basically means it needs to be in the same, um, your your mod file needs to be in the same package which is not a minecraft block um, to be able to run it and we have a custom package now if you have mod loader and use the default net .micro .src, this shouldn't be a problem and if you don't want to have any custom properties you can just use block flower here there um, so yeah let's just go over here and paste it in now we will get a lot of bugs, but they're really easy to fix, so we'll just hover over, change the back to the tutorial, we'll import net.minecraft, minecraft. Block, and this, sh you shouldn't need to do this in the, uh, in mutloader, in mutloader, mut you should do net.minecraft.soc.star, and you should have everything ready, and you can, those <laughs> shouldn't be here. Well, that one should, but the other ones shouldn't. Now, if you just hover over, we can rename this to to to, <laughs> to tutorial flower, and as you can see, we now have everything ready. Now, um, this returns which kind of flower it is. Um, but we shouldn't mess with that at the moment. The plan ID not really important for us at this moment, but it needs that feature. Um, get the render time. This is important. This is basically telling it that it should render as a flower. Um, render as normal block should be fast. We can just skip out all of this. This is really important, but this one is important. So, if you go here, um, there are some settings that you could, if you would want to, um, change but more important <coughs> sorry excuse me for that um more important is this here can this block grow on this block id now return par one equals equals block dot grass dot block id these two symbol things par one equals equals now this is like a list if I would want to add something to that list, I could. So if I do this, par1 equals equals um, mod dot tutorial block. For instance, we want now what this will uh, that block ID needs to be at the end of that. Now what this will do is it will make it so that all flowers that use this custom class will be able to grow on our tutorial block. I will show that in a second. Um, now we'll set the unlike class name. Let's set unlocalized name. Custom flower, I guess. And we will mod loader add name. Let's spell that correctly. Tutorial flower. Tutorial flower Sorry, I just added 
to do that. It's amazing. Okay, so have that own now we of course as well need to do game registry dot need to spell that correctly. Um dot register block tutorial flower. There you go, what's wrong with this? Brilliant. Okay, so now, uh, well, I didn't tell you in the block tutorial, I should have told because now I'm kind of counting mot loaders as well. So if you have mot loader, just do mot loader dot I say register register block and then tutorial flower, for instance, um, and that should get the job done as well. Now we are using Forge mainly in this series, so I will <laughs> keep this method. But that is how to do it if you are wondering as a Muttloader user. Um, so yeah, we got all these things ready. Now we're going to test it first with no textures at all. Then I will record myself making the textures and hopefully speed that up so it wouldn't be as boring to watch it because it took way too long previously creating textures. So now we'll just debug this to show that it looks as a flower but then strange because it hasn't got any textures yet. And um hello. And then we will create the textures. So yeah, let's have a look. Shall we? Hope it's gonna boot. Hope it's going to boot. Loading the player like, like 63. Are we booted? Don't seem to be booted correctly, at least. Come on. <sighs> Seriously. Okay, it's still functioning. <laughs> it's just lying to me. It's still functioning. Okay, there we go. So we can get single player. Play the selected world. Okay, that's quite strange. <laughs> I don't even remember what that should be. Okay, so again here. There you go, we have tutorial flower. And yes, we didn't set the creative tab um, after the initial pod of the main list here. Yeah. As you can see, the other ones have set that set creative tab there. But this one has here, up here, and there. It has it already set for us, so we don't have to do that anymore. Now if we go here, we have tutorial flower. And we'll pick up a grass block, a, a dirt block. There you go. You actually have a rose as well. Okay. Now, we'll put this here because there are functions like chip, but it doesn't go on there. Now, if we place this here, it will look kind of strange because, yeah, it doesn't really have a flower texture yet. You can put it on here. Once again, it doesn't have a flower texture yet. But if we put it on here, doesn't work for some reason. That's I, I that actually is not meant to happen. So I'll have a quick look at that. I did that. Um it says it there. Be right back. Okay, so I piece of the touches in and now let's go ahead and have a look. Um, so I changed my plans and instead of it being a flower it's now uh, a corn. But it gets the idea over so uh, usually plants have the same rendering method as um, flowering. You can see that looks really good actually. And to the, like the item. Now it's a block of course but 
it, it looks like an item. It renders as an item. Um, that's basically. There you go. It looks really nice, and as well in the real kind of world in Minecraft, it looks really nice. So now we do have a hitbox problem here, which I could go in higher detail, but that would, but basically that would make it even harder to understand why I'm exactly trying to get over here. And there are some parts of the core that maybe should have been done differently. And still I don't know why it's not placing on top of the tutorial block, even though I told it to do so. So, yeah. Either way, thank you guys for watching this specific video. Um, if you like this video, you could uh, give it a thumbs up or subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching, and bye.